Here's a short clip on how to set up FL Digi with the ICOM 7300. And first we're going to do the radio. And I realize there's a, a few different ways to do this. But uh, this is the way that I have my radio set up. I'm using two cables. Uh, one is the CIV cable for rig control. And the other is the USB cable for uh, data or digital modes. And I'm using a Windows 10 computer. I normally use Ham Radio Deluxe and a Digital Master 780, but uh, this is on FL Digi. I found that uh, I leave my radio set the same way with all these programs. I don't have to change anything on the radio. So let's go into the menu and set and underneath connectors. These are the things we're going to be changing. I'm going to go up to the top and show you everything that I have. You can see that I changed the uh, output level here. Everything else is the default. Uh, the data off modulation is still set to mic and accessory. Data modulation is set to USB. I didn't change anything under CIV. The USB serial function is CIV. USB send is set to RTS and USB King CW DTR and USB King RIDI DTR and again I realize there's different ways to uh, set the radio up in your software but this is the way that I'm doing it and it seems to work really well if you're running a Mac uh, you'll you might have uh, these settings uh, differently so we can exit from here and uh, next we'll go over to FL Digi the software and look at how that's set up. Okay, let's get FL Digi set up on the computer. And uh, part of the trouble that I had was just finding the files. Uh, I'll show you here. This is the uh, URL for where FL Digi is. It's under uh, it's a source forge. And uh, go down here, and I'm using Windows 10. This is the uh, setup for Windows 10. Download it to the computer. Double click on it and just go ahead and install it to the default location. The next thing you want to do for the ICOM 7300 is download the uh, XML file and I'll uh, show you uh, this is the URL for it. I'll put these below in the description there. And you want to go to the ICOM, click on it, and here is the uh, 7300 XML file that I'm using. Download it to the computer, and after uh, FL Digi is installed, you'll see a uh, rigs folder, and you'll want to go ahead and just drop it in the rigs folder, and uh, you'll be able to open it up right from FL Digi. So uh, once those are on your computer, you'll open up uh, open up FL Digi, and I'm going to bring it over to this screen. You'll see that mine's already set up. I'm on uh, the 20 meter PSK frequency. And I'm on the dummy load, so I'm not uh, receiving anything right now. There's just a couple places you want to go. Click on configure, and you want to go down and I'll set up the sound card first. And uh, this is the uh, uh, driver that we downloaded from ICOM. It's a USB audio codec, and uh, you want to choose it. You'll see I have a, a few in here. I had some virtual audio cables, but uh, you want to click on that one. Playback is the same one. Click on that, and then just uh, click Save and Close. And once you do that, you should be uh, receiving. And I'll uh, turn it over to the antenna, and you'll see that I, I am receiving. Okay, and the next place you want to go is set up a rig control. And uh, as I mentioned uh, before, I'm using two cables, uh, one for uh, the CIV port on the back of the ICOM 7300, and then one USB and uh, that is for uh, digital uh, or data. So once you open up uh, the rig, you'll go right to this tab, and we're using RigCat, and this is where you put in that file that uh, we downloaded uh, just a minute ago, the IC7300XML uh, file. You just click on Open, uh, find uh, where you downloaded it uh, uh, to. I've got it under uh, FL Digi Files and then the rigs. You select it click open 
make sure you're on the right COM port for your uh, CIV cable. Uh, baud rate, uh, mine uh, I believe works best at 9600. That's the default for mine anyway. Uh, you just got three things checked here. Cat command for push to talk. Uh, commands are echoed and uh, restore settings on close. Once you hit initialize, um, you'll, you should see the frequency pop up on the left uh, top left hand corner. Uh, this uh, this tab we don't use. The hardware push to talk we use. We use a separate serial port for push to talk, and that is uh, COM4 on mine. That's the USB cable. Uh, I'm using RTS, and if you follow the uh, settings that I have in the 7300, you'll use RTS, and you'll click Initialize. XML uh, RPC uh, we're not using uh, FL rig is is already checked. Uh, once you have that uh, have that done, you just click Save and Close. And again, you should see the frequency in the top left hand corner. If you want to check your push to talk, I'm on the dummy load. I'll just hit Tune. I know my push to talk is working. I can uh, go over here and uh, here's a, a CQ I've already got set up. And uh, one thing I want to watch on uh, my radio is the ALC and the power output. Uh, let me bring over uh, the uh, setting I have for the uh, playback, playback device. And I'll show you that it uh, had mine set uh, uh, very low. Go to properties and levels and mine's on a 3. And if you look at the first part of this video, you'll see under uh, the ICOM 7300 setup uh, what I have uh, set underneath connectors. And uh, my uh, USB modulation level is set up to 85. So that's uh, set pretty high on the radio. And then this is set uh, really low. And uh, you can go back and forth and play with those. Uh, the main objective is to get the ALC uh, uh, non-existent on, on the rig. So, uh, you know, you, you're putting out uh, a good power. Mine's about 25 watts, and uh, then the ALC uh, doesn't read. Uh, I like to have it so I know that it's, uh, that it's uh, working and uh, pretty close to the uh, power level that I have set on the radio. Uh, but mine, uh, as you can see, is set to 3 here. And when I transmit a CQ, what I do into the dummy load, what I do is I look over at the uh, power output, and uh, my ALC is nothing. And it's uh, putting out about 25 watts. So there you have it. Uh, I got FL Digi uh, set up and working. Uh, you can program your buttons down here uh, for a QSO. And I don't use FL Digi a whole lot, but uh, I've had a couple of questions about it, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a clip on showing how to just basically set it up and, and get it working. If you have any questions, please comment below, and uh, we'll try to get them worked out. Thanks again for watching. 73 and good DX.